Brian from Oakville Performance and Wellness. Uh, today we're going to show you our homework for releasing your pec major or pec minor depending on what your homework is. So for a lot of people you get really stuck along the sternal attachments. So we're going to focus on releasing that. We're going to work our way across the fibers of your pec major up towards the shoulder and then get into that nasty little spot, the pec minor underneath. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the orb. Uh, if you don't have an orb, we sell them at our shop at a competitive price. This is probably our favorite tool for most release things. So we're going to get you on the ground, and you're going to focus first by finding a, a little spot on your sternal attachments. So you're going to lay down on the ball. I like to support my head, like so. And then you can kind of scan around, find a nasty little spot. I got one right there. I'm going to take my hand behind my back, let my shoulder drop down, and then I'm going to reach up over and then I'm going to lift my head right now. Normally I'm resting, but you're just going to go back and forth. And then you can adjust, find another little spot. And what's important is a good scapular positioning here. So you don't want to just dump into an anterior tilt and reach. You actually want to set your shoulder back, get a bit of a pin and stretch, and then reach up and around. So you can scan around any one of those fibers is good. We're going to get a bit more on pec minor land, which is kind of the top corner. This can be pretty tuned up for a lot of people. And then the idea is the same. You're just going to reach. Go back and forth. Go way slower than I just showed you uh, to get the best release. And then if you're not comfortable on the ground, you can go against the wall and do the exact same thing. Uh, one particular way I like to do against the wall for pec minors, if you come over here. So we're working, trying to get on the deeper tissue, kind of in this area here, and you're going to pin it against the wall. Find a good spot, flip your hand, and you're just going to bring it back through different angles. So this is more of a pin and stretch technique and just open it up any which way you can.